Hey babes, hey, it's your girl Lavette and I am back with another video, okay? How y'all doing out there in them YouTube streets, honey? I am doing well, y'all. I'm actually back by high demand, honey. Hot, hot off the press. Nah, I'm just playing, y'all. Y'all know I gotta bring my humor every time. But first and foremost, thank y'all for tuning in to another video. Thank y'all for always supporting your girl and coming back and see what I got going on over here in these streets. I'll go lucky charms okay <laughs> so now that that's out the way sis i uh been checking my analytics and see what's going on in these youtube streets because y'all know i'm not over here as much as i am over on ig so if you're not following me but you liking what you see go ahead and follow me on ig okay y'all heard them bars period <laughs> But anyway, no, seriously, I'm more over on the IG side. So click the link in the description and follow me over there. I have also started my new company, which is Truly Smooth Skin Teak, that is going to be launching in October. So I'm also going to be bringing some of those behind the scenes videos with y'all as well. I want to do some more unboxing um, videos. I want to do some more chit chats. I really just want to get to know y'all more um, on this side. I'm definitely not neglecting my babes, okay? Um, but I just wanted to let you know that if you want to see me a little bit more, I'm over there in them streets out there, okay? I at least try to post once a week over here if I can. If my schedule is not too crazy, I try to at least get y'all a video once a week. I would love to do more, and hopefully one day I will. But in the meantime, in between time, sweetie, we're going to work with what we got, okay? So, checking my analytics, I noticed that my croc videos or teaching you guys about crocs or how-to videos is what y'all really want to see from me mainly so i'm gonna give y'all that more than anything more how-to i guess i got a lot of boss babes out here that's just trying to come on and get on and you know ain't nothing wrong with that period okay so if i can help you then let me help you okay so today we're gonna be doing some crocs and y'all these are not for sale let me just do a disclosure these are not for sale these are Crocs that I've been had since last year. Last year. These are my personal Crocs. I love Crocs, so I have tons of Crocs. Some of them are, um, I have took the time to design, and honestly, some of them I just have not. And this was a pair that I haven't done, and um, I was like, let me get my life, okay? My babies is asking me for an updated Croc video, because y'all want to see me actually use this glue. I think my other videos really helped y'all a lot, but... You know, you got to change it up sometimes. So y'all know if y'all watched any of my other videos, if you haven't paused this, pause right now. What are you doing? Go ahead on, watch some of my other videos and show your girl some love and get what you need to get out of those videos because I ain't doing this for my health, honey. I'm doing this for you. Okay, boo? So this is my favorite glue. However, this glue right here is more for advanced. It's a very strong smell. And so I do advise you if you're not used to the smell or you get headaches easy, please, 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 please use a mask. And you definitely going to need a pair of gloves. Now, don't get me wrong. I do be needing my mask. Sometimes it, it gets overwhelming. But if I'm not using it as much, I just dip, dip here and there and go on about my business. I don't always have to use my mask, okay? Um, and that is the Jewelry Metal Glue, okay? It is by Aline's. The Jewelry Metal Glue by Aleens. Um, You can find that on my website and you can find it at other places. I'm not going to shout those places out, but I know. Go Lucky has them on her website, okay? If you need something right now, you was already coming to get you a few other things, then go ahead on and grab you some glue as well. Now, this is new and I actually don't have this on my website. Um, it's not new. Let me take that back. It's not new. It's new to me. I have never used the Gorilla Super Glue Gel. This is the Super Glue Gel. Gorilla, Gorilla Super Glue Gel, okay? So I've never used this, but I have heard really good things about it. So I told y'all, if I learn something new, I'm gonna bring it here and, and show y'all. Now, what I have heard is it's almost very similar to this. Um, if you put too much, your stones will get white. So if you've been using any of these glues and you wonder, oh my God, why is my stones white? That's because for one, I'll tell you without even having to use this, but me having my own experience in this, you can only use very minimum. The minute you put more than too much or just enough, honestly, it's going to turn your stones white. So if you had any issues with that, then that's pretty much what it is. You're turning your... um stones white because you're just using too much with these glues they're very strong so i'm pretty sure you i know for sure with this one you only need a dab okay and it dries fast 
So once it's down, I know a lot of y'all DM me or y'all message me here and say, what do I do when my stones turn white? Sis, it's damn near impossible to change it once the stones turn white. So use glues um, once you're experienced. I would say until you're experienced, stick to the E6000. There's nothing wrong with E6000. People have been using that since day one and they will continue to use it. It's some people day ones and staples and they're not willing to change it. Um, and that's because E6000 is a really good glue to use. The key with six E6000 is you have to allow it to dry. And I'm not saying a one or two days, sis. You should be letting that glue cure for at least four to five days before you even think about wearing them, let alone shipping it to somebody. Okay, so that's that's the tip that I would like to give y'all because I know a lot of y'all ask me questions and I try my hardest to answer every question y'all ask me because that's what I'm here for. Um, to make sure like I'm doing, you know, what y'all need me to do. So anyways, I love making crocs. I really just don't get uh to do it that often so let me just take these off and if anybody's wondering which i don't know why you would care but just in case you want to be nosy sis i do wear a size nine women in crocs which is bigger than what i wear in shoes but it's okay <laughs> i wear a size uh, nine in women's and these are seven in men if you um and they're unisex and i got these from crocs online like i said last year y'all know crocs always doing sales so that's another thing. If you're not in, if you're into the designer Crocs and you're not really trying to do the inspired Crocs yet, I mean to me it's the same. It just depends on your you or your client's budget. Some people do not care about the name brand. And I have said this before. Some people are okay with the Walmart brands or wherever they can get the Croc style shoes from because now they're so popular. Everybody has their own make and take on these shoes, okay? Now, all of them may not feel as comfortable, but I have found some really good dupes, okay, for Crocs. So depending on you and your clients, I would say offer both, okay? But that's you knowing your target audience. For me, I like to do both and I actually... To be honest, don't even get to do them that much because of my schedule. So for a lot of y'all be like, do you sell the Crocs? Can you make me some customs? Babe, I'm sorry. I'm not offering custom Crocs right now. But you can go on the website and see what I do have available because I do use my creative mind sometimes. And I just sit there when I do have that little bit of time to create. I do grab a pair of Crocs and try to create. I do go off the dome of my head and I just put something out there. And I don't know if the people are going to like it. I don't know if it's going to sell. I just do it and put it out there. Most of the time, I try to use my own shoe size, if that makes sense. Um, but sometimes I don't just to put it out there. So check out the site if you're looking for something. Maybe I can help you. Maybe I can't. I'm not sure. But let me just show y'all some of the, um, the other stuff that I did get to complete these cracks. So I already had a vision in my head. Now I'm not going to complete the vision here today, but we're going to get started with this vision. Okay. And if you want to see the finished product, unfortunately, you're going to have to go over to my Instagram and see it because I don't want this video to be extra, extra long and I don't want to do a lot of it. Okay. So your girl is working. Um, but I'm, I'm going to finish them today. It's just that I'm not probably going to, um, do the whole video here. Y'all can just go follow me over there and see the results. Okay. So anyway, we got the crop. These are name brand. I really don't care about the name brand. These are from last year. I had them. They're mine. I'm going to wear them. And I had a little slight vision. I got these cute. Oh my God, y'all. How cute. How cute are these patches? Now, I got this from an Etsy shop. I don't remember. But what I did put in, I just put in patches. Um, Did I put in embroidery patches? I'm not sure. I know I either, because I had these for a while too, y'all. I'm just... Y'all know how it be. Y'all buy stuff and you put it to the side and then you pull something out and you like, that's it. Period, poo. Um, so yeah, just Google. I mean, not Google. If you want to shop for different packs, you can Google. Actually, I'm not going to say not to Google. But what I am going to tell you is um, you can find these patches on Etsy. And it was very easy because I'm not that type of person that's going to dig down deep in the gutter for nothing, okay? I'm going to just put simple keywords and I'm going to pull it up. So put in patches. If that don't work, put iron on patches. If that don't work, put embroidery patches. Until you get what you need to get. And you don't have to get these exact ones if you don't want to because trust me, they had so many on there. It was actually hard to choose from. And when I bought these, I wasn't even thinking about the yellow. I knew I wanted pink on my, on my, um, my yellow. I knew that for sure because I think pink and yellow is so pretty. But once I went shopping, um, looking for patches and I seen these, it was just easy for me to narrow it down when I thought about my Crocs. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get that set. So anyway, y'all know me. I talk. 
I talk too damn much sometimes and it's okay. But I got these patches off of Etsy from one buyer, from one shop. I didn't shop around for these. This one lady had all of these and I bought from her shop. If I remember um, where I can go back and find it, I will definitely link it for y'all. But if not, like I said, use keywords and go on Etsy and do what you do. Then I had some old jeans. We all got old denim that we don't use that's just sitting upstairs in your closet or wherever. Everybody got some type of denim that they can tear up that they don't need, honey. If they were pants, make them into shorts, okay? Whatever you got to do, sis. Everybody knows denim and Crocs right now is hot. You always got to be with the trends and what's going on. So I got us some denim pieces that we're going to use. Um, Y'all know I sell these patches right here on the website. Um, they come in a pack of five, but I only need one, I believe. If I need more, I got, at least I know I got more. Put to the side that I could just go on over there and grab one. I may need one more for, so I can have one per shoe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are on the website if you're looking for these. These are silicone-based patches, real cute, bendable, um, and easy to apply. I have used these before. If you uh, checked out the white pair that I did with the gold, I think I did a video and posted it over on Instagram. I don't think I put it over here on YouTube. And then I also sell these links. They have the crock pieces on the bottom on each end. So I do have these already on the website. So now I done took a lot of y'all's time. So I don't want to take too much more because I don't want this video to be too long. And we're already at like 12 minutes. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the other patch. I am going to uh, cut and try to fit this to this. And then I'll show y'all how to do that. And then I'll be back. Okay, babe. So. Okay, babe. So your girl is back. And basically... I didn't do too much without you, okay? So, what I did was I took the denim that I showed y'all, the little two uh, denim pieces that I had from some old jeans. Um, basically, I still have a whole one and the back part of the other one. So, you don't need much. It depends on your style. Now, I don't have in my head like oh i'm gonna do this oh i'm gonna do it. all i know is i don't want them to look identical to each other so that's why i cut out a big piece and a small piece it was very simple and this material is stretchy so you might have to still cut as you go so like i said i don't have a specific way and for me it's a little harder because i'm working upside down so that y'all can get a, a closer vision and i'm thinking i might have to bring out the e6000 for some of these patches only because i know i kind of like to use the e6000 glue when i'm working with patches because it's a little thicker um but we'll see we'll see so and any little scraps or stuff you might need it you know you might want to just add it so don't throw them away just put them to the side so let's see i don't like i said i don't have a vision for what i really want in this it's just going to be like, let's do it. That's that's how you know what you got or what you're working with, sis. When you could just put some stuff together. I'm trying to think if I want it that way or do I want the denim going up? Because I'm not going to, I'm trying to do this without having to use um, a lot of charms. I'm trying to do this without charms and just make them a uh, patch base. So. Okay, so I know I want to use this chain and I pretty much done took off my gloves because I don't want to manhandle these, these babies, okay? Now, I know sometimes croc have holes up in here where you can put it like this because I know I have uh, used uh, holes in mine. Actually, my pink pair, if you saw that on Instagram, um, I was able to use the holes and just stick the chains in. But anyway, these got the, the pieces as I showed y'all on the side. And I know I want one for each shoe. So before I obligate myself to actually glue this piece down, I will really want to kind of stick my pieces in where I want it to go. So, and be careful because y'all, I mean, like I told y'all before, these pieces are not cemented on. They do break. Um, so just be careful. 
And I'm doing this first before I obligate myself to the jean because once I use the jean, it's going to cover up holes. So I'm trying to see if this is something I even want to add. It may not be. I may not even have to use these. And I'm giving y'all the raw because I want to. I want y'all to see like this is how it is. You just you be creative and you kind of see what works for you. Like right now, so far, I'm already seeing that I might not want to use the chain. Because for one, I got other big pieces. So let me go ahead and pull this out. Oh gosh, I just feel like this video is going to be super long. I might cut all this out. <laughs> Maybe I want it like this. Stretch it from side to side. Make sure the denim stretch. This might, I might not work. I might not be able to use everything. So give it a look here and maybe a Fendi piece here and then I might can put a, a charm piece right there I don't think we're going to be able to use um, both of these because I mean I can but as you see I just ha I can use it you could definitely use it you just overlap it like that you see you could definitely use it and just overlap pieces if that's what you need to do now, how y'all think that look? Of course, I will corner and curb this. So, I don't know. Let's see what your girl get. Okay, babe so that actually was surprisingly easy um it does have a smell it's not as strong as the metal glue but it definitely has a smell so once again if you're sensitive to smells i would definitely 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 recommend you um using um wearing wearing some wearing a mask i'm sorry and definitely use your gloves i almost forgot mine this time so now I'm going to skip right on over to this piece and I'm going to speed it back up. And basically, as you see, I'm just taking my time. I'm not rushing. I am a little bit more advanced. Um, so for a beginner, I would definitely say, like I said, take your time. But if you know what you're doing, then hey, sis, rock out. Okay. So as you see, I'm just, I'm not putting up the glue on the fabric, which I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm do noticing that it does stay, stick in place really quickly. Um, so just remember that too. Once it's once it's down, it pretty much seems like it's down, okay? So, let's continue.
Okay, babe, so this is how I ended up just placing the um the patches. As y'all see, it was really simple and easy. The glue, the glue works. Um, I'll definitely be checking it throughout the day to see if there's anything left in like right here. I could tell I didn't have enough glue. So I would just take a, a little bit like I just did and I would just hold it down in its place. Um, but I will say this glue definitely dries fast. Um, it's definitely a really good um, match to this. So I have two favorite glues that I always keep on deck. If I run out of this, I'll definitely use this. Um, this is a little bit more expensive than this. And honestly, using both now with patches, I would definitely say they work the same. Um, fast drying, once it's stuck, it's up, honey, and it's stuck, okay? There's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. Some people say you can use vinegar and oil. I haven't personally used it, but I have heard other people use it. Not sure if they use it um, with this glue particularly, but they said they have been able to remove some glues using vinegar and um, oil. So if you have an issue, try that first. But other than that, sis, once you use it, you can go back, okay? So anyways, I'm liking what I have so far. I am going to go in and, of course, you know, probably add some bling up in here. When I'm wearing the real Crocs, I don't like to cover up the Crocs sign for some reason. So, I might just add some bling um, around this part and right there in the little circle like I do sometimes. Um, I actually have some Croc pieces here. I always keep me a little stash of stuff for myself. So, when I want to get creative uh, for my babes, I have stuff already in the stash to be able to... Um, make make something for you so i'm just looking to see so i got an opening right here and i don't of course want that to be opening open and i didn't have uh enough space to use these which is cool because i have another idea so stay tuned for the next video i'm actually going to shoot it right after after this you might not i might not upload it i might do two uploads like one today and maybe one on saturday or one today and one on monday i don't know but stay tuned because i found a cool way i can use these and i definitely want to show share that with y'all so maybe y'all can try it too it'll kind of be like a match for this um i'm actually going to go in and add some stones outside of uh recording i just don't want the video to be too long and i feel like it's already extremely long so i am going to go in and add like i said some stones here um some um rope some rope here so like i said if you want to see the results all you have to do is go to my instagram the main purpose of this video was to show y'all how i use this new glue that i never tried before which is a gorilla super glue gel love it i'm just giving it reviews already i love what it's doing it just reminds me of the other a quick drying as y'all see it didn't really take me long um if you want to get in this field and you don't have a lot of time to sit there and stone everything but you want to fill in your pieces never be afraid to use patches um i love patches i actually sell patches on my website i don't have these particular ones but i do have patches so if you shop the croc section or the gibbet section or whatever on the website you will find a lot of these pieces already available besides like i said these particular patches but i do have these patches i do have these links um i do have charms um or different type of croc different kinds of crock pieces so yeah like i said if you want to see what i'm going to do with these next two um make sure y'all tune in because i'm going to shoot that video so be on the lookout have your post notifications on because you don't want to miss it i literally feel like it's going to be bomb and i can't wait to wear this together um and also follow me on my instagram which is in the link is in the description where you will see the finished product i will have this blinged out up here i will add bling here and wherever i feel the need to add something here i definitely will but these would definitely look a little bit different once you go to instagram okay babe so like i said if these videos are helpful for you or to you and you like more videos like this please make sure you like share comment and of course subscribe cut on your post notifications so you never miss a video for your girl and just let me know overall how you feel like the videos are helping you i try my hardest to do what i can to help my babes i don't know everything as i always um explain to y'all but i love what i do and doing stuff like this is fun like however the long time of this video i didn't do too many edits honestly it literally took me less than 30 minutes to to do this right here literally less than 30 minutes and it wasn't much and look how cute they are and they're not even done and it'll probably take me another 30 minutes to finish them out so i'll say an hour for two pair not that bad and i can easily get mm, once done 
I can easily get about a good 150 to 200 dollars for these if they were if I was willing to sell them. Um, but no, I'm keeping them for myself. But I just wanted to give y'all some ideas. So once again, follow your girl over on Go Lucky Charms on Instagram. I, I'm also on TikTok. Make sure y'all follow me on Truly Smooth Skin Teak because I have will be dropping next month and I have tons of products that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all also behind the scenes. And if you like these and you think they turned out really good for 30 minutes, then go ahead on, sis. No need to pause. Hit that like. If you haven't subscribed and you don't made it to the end of the video, what are you doing? Go ahead on and, and subscribe. All right? And that's it. Until the next time, babes. Until the next video. Peace.